Palms and palm-like plants add a tropical look to the landscape. They can be used in clusters or as tree or shrub substitutes. This presentation will discuss the care requirements for palms as well as 15 species commonly found in Central Florida. Palms are long-lived herbaceous plants that are monocots or gymnosperms. Most species are not damaged by frost or brief freezes. All palms and palm-like plants are generally grown for shade, windbreaks, foliage, or flowers and fruit. They should be clustered for best use or in place of shrubs and trees. Most palms and palm-like plants will grow in Florida sandy soil without enriching the planting area with organic matter. Remove weeds by digging or by using a non-selective herbicide and, if required, add compost, peat moss, or composted manure. Most palms are grown from cuttings or seeds if readily available. Seeds are started in containers or cell packs in shade houses or greenhouses and transplanted as they are mature enough. When transplanting begins, ensure the planting hole is wider than the root ball with similar depth. Arrange plants at the correct spacing and at the same depth they were growing in their containers. Be sure the soil has good drainage. After planting, mulch can be added and the plant should be thoroughly watered in. Be sure to keep mulch away from the base of plants. Do not allow mulch to touch the base of the palm and do not use more than one or two inches. Most water is needed during establishment, then plants are usually low maintenance. Do not overwater. Frequent irrigation and constantly watering the trunk or foliage can cause rot and disease. Most palms are generally pest free if properly irrigated, fertilized, and pruned and are not treated for pests. Although palms are usually very tough and durable, check plantings routinely to prevent major problems or infestations. Common pests are bacterial and fungal diseases which can be prevented by proper care or treated with sprays or by directly injecting the palm. Because of their size and shape, most palms are not treated for pests. Do not remove living fronds or over prune. This depletes the plant of nutrients that are stored and produced in leaves, which requires production of more leaves and consumption of other stored energy to compensate for the loss. This can be very stressful for the palm and should be avoided. Removing older fronds that are not healthy is tempting, but not recommended and can kill a palm. Older fronds also protect the delicate new growth from cold and wind and physically supports new growth. Improper pruning can also introduce disease such as trunk rot. Only prune completely brown fronds when necessary or not at all if possible. Plants with older fronds that appear abnormal should be routinely treated with fertilizer instead of being removed. Use a fertilizer specifically for palms directly near the plant and in planting surrounding the plant. Palm fertilizers usually have micronutrients and minerals. Common landscape and turf fertilizers with excess nitrogen can easily kill palms. Observe old and new growth on a regular basis. The Eureka palm species named Dipsis means growing yellow in Latin, which refers to yellow petioles. This is why it is sometimes called yellow cane palm. The species name refers to Chrysalidocarpus lutescens, which is yellow butterfly palm. The plants are sometimes confused or mislabeled as yellow butterfly palm. It is in the Ericaceae family and grows up to 20 feet tall and 15 feet wide with feathery fronds. Eureka palm is drought tolerant and prefers full sun but will grow in full shade. They are sometimes grown in full shade greenhouses and should be acclimated to sunnier locations slowly. Mealybugs, fungus, and scale can be issues. Eureka palm is a zone 10 to 11 evergreen. It has spring flowers and appreciates potassium and micronutrients. Plants are wind resistant. Eureka palm is also flood tolerant for short periods of time. They can be grown from division or seeds and as a specimen, hedge, background, and containers, and for cut foliage. Areca palms are most ideal as a specimen when pruned. They can become invasive in South Florida or become a small thicket if not thinned. Removing suckers allows for better air circulation, which also reduces pest infestation likelihood. Bismarck palm is sometimes called simply by its genus name. The genus Bismarckia is named after Otto von Bismarck and nobilis means noble. It is in the Ericaceae family and prefers full sun to part shade, but prefers full sun. Bismarckia is up to 70 feet tall and 30 feet wide with large, silvery blue fronds. More commonly, Bismarckia is around 40 feet tall and 15 feet wide. 
It will recover from short, light freezes and is drought tolerant. Roots should be kept moist for the first season. Ideally, plant in the beginning of rainy season to reduce watering. Plants prefer well-drained soil. Bismarck palm is evergreen in zone 9 to 11 and grown from seed. They can be grown for large commercial areas and as a specimen or to line a large driveway. The common and genus name Butia is the Brazilian name for this palm. Capitate means dense-headed, which refers to its appearance. Butia palm is also called pindo palm or jelly palm. It is in the Ericaceae family and has pinnate, needle-like, silvery, blue-green fronds. Pindo palm blooms in spring and can grow 15 feet tall and 15 feet wide. It can be in full sun to full shade and appreciates full sun most. Pindo palm is drought tolerant when established and should not be allowed to dry out at all during establishment. Butia palm is drought tolerant and wind resistant. They can be fertilized quarterly except winter and grow in zone 8 to 11. Micronutrient deficiencies are common. Pindo palm has a slow growth rate and plants can be susceptible to palm leaf skeletonizer, scale, leaf spots, and trunk rot. It may be grown as a specimen, accent, to attract butterflies and wildlife, for fruit, and in planters. Pindo palm fruit contains high quantities of pectin, which is why the other common name is jelly palm. The genus name sable is a South American name for cabbage palm, also known as sable palm. It is in the Ericaceae family and requires well-drained soil and full sun, but will also live in part shade. It is a Florida native, drought tolerant and wind resistant. Leaves are palmate. Cabbage palm is a street tree of Florida. They are easy to transplant when mature. Cabbage palm is grown in zone 8 to 11 by seed for specimens, planters, crafts, construction material, and to attract wildlife. The cut interior portion is known as edible heart of palm. It is also called swamp cabbage. Plants are up to 90 feet tall and 10 feet wide, but usually between 20 to 40 feet tall. It has summer blooms. Remove fronds before transplanting and stake after planting. Sable palm can be fertilized quarterly except during winter. They are best when grown in clusters. Canary Island date palm is in the Ericaceae family. The genus name Phoenix is the Greek word for date palm and the species name Canariensis means from Canary Islands. Plants grow in full sun to part shade, but most appreciate full sun. Leaves are stiff, pinnate, and up to 20 feet long. Canary Island date palm is up to 80 feet tall and 25 feet wide, but usually only 60 feet tall. It blooms in summer. Canary Island date palm is drought tolerant and wind resistant when established. They are grown in zone 9 to 11 as a specimen, in planters, and in large areas and large driveways. Plants are grown from seeds and dioecious. Growth rate is slow. Canary Island date palm is susceptible to palm weevil, leaf spot, nutrient deficiencies, and lethal yellowing. Chinese fan palms genus Livestonia is named after Patrick Murray, Baron of Livingston. Murray's collection established Edinburgh Botanical Gar Gardens in 1670 in England. The species named Chinensis means from China. It is evergreen in zones 9 to 11. Chinese fan palm is identified by parts of the frond that are ribbon-like. It grows up to 50 feet tall and 12 feet wide and fronds are up to 3 to 6 feet wide. Chinese fan palms should be pruned for air circulation to prevent diseases and pests and to remove browning or dead fronds. Plants are drought tolerant. Chinese fan palm is a member of the Ericaceae family. It is a monocot that is grown from seed with large, light green, palmate leaves that prefers full sun but will also grow in part shade. Young plants prefer shade. Chinese fan palm is susceptible to fungus, scale, lethal yellowing, and palm leaf skeletonizer. Fertilized two or three times a year. It can become invasive in South Florida and is commonly used as a specimen, in containers, and occasionally indoors. Containers are appropriate in areas where freeze is likely. Cardboard plant is in the Zamiaceae family. The species name for Feraceae is derived from Latin and means finely scaly. Plants are drought tolerant and grow slowly up to 5 feet tall and 8 feet wide. They are usually only 2 to 4 feet tall. Grow cardboard plant in full sun to shade in zone 9 to 11. Although cardboard plant will grow in shade, it prefers full sun. 
plants will regrow after a frost. Cardboard plant is dioecious and grown from seed. It has a clumping growth and is used for containers, indoors, as a specimen, for borders, and as an accent. It has tough, pubescent, pinnately compound leaflets and requires good drainage. Cardboard plant is susceptible to scale and mealybug. Zamia is derived from zamie. This word is a false rendering of the word azanie and refers to pine cones. Floridana means from Florida and refers to the plant's origin. Most other Zamiaceae species are only grown in the areas where they are native. Zamia pumila is native to the Dominican Republic and sometimes grown in South Florida. Plants prefer part shade and are related to cardboard plant. Kunti is usually only three feet tall. Kunti is drought tolerant, cold sensitive, and susceptible to scale and mealybug. It has a variable growth rate, leathery, glossy, pinnately compound leaflets, and requires well-drained soil. Kunti is dioecious with extremely tomentose or hairy male and female cones. Plants are grown by seed and division and used as a specimen, hedge to attract butterflies and to attract wildlife. It is the only host for a lot of hair streak butterfly. Ideal for zones 8 to 11. Stems are called bulbs or tubers and can be divided for new plants. The genus name Rapis means needle and refers to leaf segments. The species name Excelsa means tall and refers to tall, cane-like stems. Lady palm is in the Ericaceae family and is hardy in zones 9 to 11. Plants are 6 to 15 feet tall and up to 15 feet wide. Lady palm has palmate leaves usually 1 foot wide. It prefers part sun to full shade. It prefers fertile soil and appreciates fertilizer when in higher sunlight conditions. Fertilize a couple times a year with palm fertilizer. Lady palm has bamboo-like stalks with fan-shaped fronds. It forms clumps and has slow growth. It is drought tolerant and prefers well-drained soil. Keep root ball moist during first season after planting. Lady palm is dioecious and grown from seeds and division as a border, hedge, for urns and containers, and planters to attract wildlife and for cut foliage. Birds appreciate these plants. It is susceptible to scale, sooty mold, and palm aphids. Needle palm is a Florida native in the Ericaceae family. It is sometimes considered endangered. The genus name Raphidophilium means needle leaved and the species name Hystrix means porcupine. Plants are cold hardy and will grow in full sun to full shade but prefers part to full shade. Needle palm blooms in summer and grows up to 14 feet tall and 15 feet wide. Needle palm has a variable growth rate and is usually pest free. Plants prefer moist but well-drained soil and is grown from seed. Needle palm has large, stiff palmate leaves. It is used as a specimen and birds and other animals eat the fruit. The pygmy date palm is closely related to the Canary Island date palm. The genus Phoenix is the same, however the species is named after Carl Robelin, an orchid collector. It is in the Ericaceae family. Pygmy date palm grows in zone 9 to 11 in full sun to part shade, but prefers full sun and fertile soil. They are about 10 feet tall and 8 feet wide. Pygmy date palm is usually more thirsty than other palms. Leaves are light green and pinnately compound up to 4 feet long. Use micronutrients quarterly except during winter and remove brown or dead fronds. Pygmy date palm is grown from seed and plants are dioecious. They can be used as a specimen, accent, for planters, and in interiors. Pygmy date palm is great in clusters. They are susceptible to chewing insects, leaf spot, and bud rot. The genus name Syagris is the Greek word for palm, and the species Romanzofiana is named after Prince Nicholas Romanoff. Queen palm is in the Ericaceae family and prefers full sun. It has a fast growth rate. Queen palm are usually around 40 feet tall but can be larger than 40 feet. Plants have soft, drooping, dark green pinnate leaves. Queen palm prefers well-drained soil and is susceptible to palm leaf skeletonizer, scale, and micronutrient deficiency. Frizzle top is a common sign of manganese deficiency. Brown and dead fronds should be removed and plants are grown from seed as an accent, specimen, and for planters. Sago palm is also called king sago. The genus name Cycus is Greek for palm 
and is derived from its appearance, which resembles palm trees. The species name Revoluta means rolled backwards and refers to the leaflet margins. It is a member of the Cycadaceae family, which are cycads that include dioecious gymnosperms that are mostly evergreen ornamentals. They are hardy in zones 8 to 11 and grow up to 15 feet tall. Sago palm, however, is usually shorter than 15 feet. Sago palm is propagated from seed or cutting. Seeds are obtained from female cones fertilized by male cones. Cuttings may be derived from side shoots or suckers, which are more common on male plants. Sago palms have dark, glossy, pinnately compound leaves and prefers full sun to part shade and well-drained soil. It is susceptible to scale, mealy bugs, leaf spot, and micronutrient deficiencies, especially manganese. Sago palm can be grown as a specimen, accent, and for urns and containers. Saw palmetto is another plant in the Ericaceae family. The genus Serenoa is named after Serena Watson, who was an American botanist who worked at Harvard University. The species name Ripens means creeping, which refers to its growth habit. Saw palmetto is a Florida native that is hardy in zones 8 to 11. It prefers full sun, but will also grow in part shade. Plants bloom in spring and summer and are usually about 6 feet tall and 6 feet wide, but can grow up to 20 feet tall. Fruit is eaten by birds and animals, and extracts are used for prostate problems. Transplanting from the wild is usually unsuccessful.